This final piece is called The Journey Towards Empowerment Through the Eyes of One Māori Wahine. And it's about navigating two worlds, my Irish and English and Scottish world and my Māori world, and, and trying to make sense of what that looks like. From birth, we are conditioned to think this way or that. The products of an environment forged from entitlement, you see this box, you must fit within it, and that is that. In a world where respect is a concept lost on many, in a world where neglect, they demanded equality, yet all I had to offer was me. What is me? What are we? Who are we? I surmise that it's the demise of democracy for what you see is me, but what defines me? Society? They categorise and say that I am one or the other, but one is black and one is white, and yet we stand as brothers. Torn between my whenua and whakapapa foreign to me, I stood and bled with the pain of this history unknown to me. Yet all along, I carried my tūpuna on my back throughout my journey. Graciously, faithfully, carry the mana of generations before me. Bigotry prohibited me from performing, forced me into conforming just to fit in, just to be like them, just to be liked by them. Society tells me, level up and be the best I can be. But statistically, I'm a minority. Status forced upon me of what should be, not what could be, not what would be, but what will be. You dare impede me, oppress me culturally, suppress my legacy and use that to define my identity? Well, you will see, for I am me. I am mana wahine. I don't fit within their scope. And this chasm I can't fathom will conceptualise this idealistic life, so I made change, so I make change. I crossed their planes and rearranged this disdain warped reality ingrained within my mind. And what did I find? I found all of you. And you found all of me. Seeds born of love, nurtured with light, destined for greatness. I walk barefoot over mountains, I challenge that I don't believe in, and I fight for that in which I do, and you can too. Reprogram your mindset, your mind was set, but you can change it. Refuse to neglect, refuse to conform to their games, disdain from that, that doesn't make you happy, and embrace that, that does. You are beautiful, you are enough. For within you burns a light so bright it burns, like the stars our tūpuna used to navigate throughout the night. Never lose sight of the beauty, never lose sight of the power. That is you. Reclaim your power. You have the aptitude, just adopt an attitude, immersed with gratitude, surround yourself with the modi, bask in the energy of those you resonate with daily and you will be free. Set goals. Smell flowers. Appreciate the beauty of a sunset. Give within your capacity to give, with those you know and those you haven't met yet. Tell loved ones you care, speak what's on your mind, hold the hands of those with fear and guide them with your shine. Empowerment is a taonga that we can be gifted and we can gift. And your only requirement in obtaining this is for your mindset to shift. I bid farewell with high vibration and to you all a future so bright. Never forget the power in which you hold. Seeds born of love and light. Kia ora.